Um, if you can throw a big bait, just throw a head, just cut it very short, and that's a great bait to throw. Um, if you can just get it over the lip, very, very effective. What I would do with, uh, with a yellowtail or a bonnie, you can make two great slide baits out of this. Okay, and it's, it's quite important to see this. Okay, the first cut I would cut is across the fish like that. Not quite as thought as I'd like. Okay, when you cut it, you do want there to be fresh blood and blood coming out of it because that smell. So don't go fishing with your bait frozen. So you're wasting your time, really. Wouldn't it thaw? Wouldn't it thaw out? It'll thaw. But what I'm saying is, when you put it in the water, try and have it as thawed as possible. Now, with a slide bait, uh, I gather you guys have all tried the slide. Um, slide bait, what you want to do is create two good hookups. First one I put in is underneath it, through that hard area like that. Okay. Second one is through the lips, like that, through the water. Okay. Once again here, I would go two toothpicks would be my choice. But your toothpicks go in there, and that's your slide bait there. Okay. Then here, I'm using the second or the, the back half of this bait. Okay. <sighs> but it was enough. <laughs> um, just like that, I would use this bait. It wouldn't take much off it. What you can do is you can take a slice off or just create a bit more blood. Uh, or oil in this case, you don't really need to. <clears throat> what I'm doing now, guys, is getting the second hook to go through the spine of this fish in between one of these vertebrae. And it's quite difficult, but you need to get it through one of those vertebrae for stability. Ah, there you go. Okay, and that's how I'd use the second half of the bait. Okay, that's a great bait. Really, that's very, very nice. Um, now, your head bait, very good. But I've, I think I've seen more fish caught in the back half of the yellowtail than the head part of the yellowtail. 